Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to knit these baby booties. They are super easy to make. I'd say that they're ideal for beginners. Um, this is what they look like. I made a pair in this pink color and I also um, did these here in this color blue. Um, they were super easy to make so without further say let's get started and thank you for watching. Okay to begin I'll be using these four millimeter kneading needles and I'm using this light number three baby yarn. I'm using Lion Brand Baby Soft and I'm using this color Little Boy Blue. I'll leave a link down here in the information box to where you can purchase this yarn along with the kneading needles that I use. Okay, so to begin, we need to cast on 38 stitches. Now, the method that I'm going to use to cast on my stitches is the long tail cast on. With the long tail cast on, you leave a long tail. This um, side here, this tail here measures about 38 inches, which is about 84 centimeters. So I have it on my right side. Now, this yarn here is coming from the skein. So the first thing that we need to do here is I'm going to insert my kneading needle right through that loop that I made. Okay, so make sure you make a loop. Now, with the tail on the right and this strand coming from the skein, insert your index finger and open it with both fingers and do this, okay? You're going to go from left to right, left to right, grabbing a loop. So insert your needle, grab a loop. See, that's two, three, four, five. You can also use any other cast on method. I have um, another method in my kneading channel with a crochet hook, so I'll leave a link to that down here in the information box. I think that one is also very easy to do. Okay, so here we're going to continue. That's six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and 38. Okay, now we have 38 stitches on our kneading needle. Now, what I'm going to do here at the end is I like to tie a knot. So I'm just going to tie here a knot so that this last stitch here doesn't come undone, right there. And what I also like to do is I like to cut this part here a bit shorter so that when I start to knit, um, I don't accidentally grab this um, end instead of the one that comes from the skein. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to knit every row for about 13 rows. Okay, so to begin here, we're going to knit the first stitch and all the ones that follow. So now here you're going to insert your kneading needle here to the one side, like this, and wrap your yarn like this. Pull a loop and let go of this first stitch, okay? Now again, do the same thing for the second stitch. Grab a loop and remove that stitch. And this is the knit stitch. Make sure that when you cast on your stitches that they're nice and loose, not too tight, so that this first stitch is not, or this first row is not as difficult. Okay, so you're going to knit every one of these stitches until you come to the very end. So I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. I still have these last two stitches, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to knit both of them, okay? And there you have it. The first row is done, so now I'm going to grab this needle here on my right side, 
and I'm going to go back and do the same thing. Now to keep things simple, I'm going to knit the first stitch as well. Okay, so you just insert your needle like this and make your first knit stitch. Okay, and then continue and do the rest same way. You're going to knit every stitch. Continue like this and I will meet you at the end of the second row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. I just need to finish knitting these two stitches here at the end. So again, same way, you just knit every single stitch and the second row is done. Now, for rows three through 13, you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to knit every stitch beginning here at the beginning. Okay, remember you knit the first stitch always and then knit every single stitch from here on and then repeat the same row for a total of 13 rows. We have three rows here, so continue like this and I'll meet you once we have 13 rows to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I have 13 rows. Let's see, we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, okay? And it measures, let's see, it measures about an inch and a half, which is about of about four centimeters. Okay, so now what we're going to do here is, for the 14th row, what we're going to do is, we're going to knit 13. So we're going to knit this first one here, as always. So knit the first stitch, and then the next one. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so we have thirteen. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. So now we're going to purl two together. So to purl, bring your yarn in front and insert your needle like this through two of the stitches and then purl. So wrap the yarn and remove your stitch. Okay, so now here we're going to knit eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and now we're going to do the following. We're going to skip this one, put it on this needle, and knit the next one. Okay, and now the stitch that we skipped, we're going to bring it over the stitch we knitted, like this, see? That's an SKP stitch. Now, I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13 stitches remaining on this needle, so I'm going to turn like this. Now we're going to slip the first stitch like this. Now bring your yarn to the back, and we're going to knit nine. This one here counts as your first one. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now these next two we're going to purl together. So bring your yarn in front like this and wrap your yarn and remove your stitch. Okay, so now in this needle we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Now we're going to turn. You're going to slip the first stitch with the yarn in the back 
slip the first stitch like this see and now here we're going to knit eight including this first one here we're going to have nine so i'm going to count this one one two three four five six seven eight nine okay and now i'm going to slip this next stitch and knit the next one now pass the stitch that you slipped over the stitch that you just knitted like this now turn I forgot to tell you how many stitches I have here. So I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing as we did at the beginning. We're going to slip this first stitch like this, put your yarn in the back, and knit the next eight. So including this one, we, we're going to have nine. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Now to finish, we're going to purl these two together. Now I have two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven stitches on this needle and we're going to turn. And as you can see, this is what it looks like now. This is going to be the front of our baby booty. Now, slip the first stitch again, like this, and knit the next eight. Including this one that we slipped, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now we're going to slip this stitch, knit the next stitch and the stitch that we slipped we're going to bring it over the stitch that we knitted like this and now I have two four six eight ten eleven stitches on this needle we're going to turn okay remember we slip the first stitch like this put your yarn behind and then knit eight including this one there should be nine so that's two three four five six seven eight nine okay now we're going to purl these two together bring your yarn in the front Insert your needle through the two stitches and then purl the stitch. So on this needle, I have now two, four, six, eight, ten. We're going to slip the stitch here, the first one, and we're going to knit the next eight. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're going to slip this next stitch and then the next one we're going to knit. Now bring the stitch that we slipped over the stitch that we just knitted. And I have two, four, six, eight, nine stitches on this 
knitting needle. And I have two, four, six, eight, ten stitches on this one. So we're going to go back again and finish. Same thing, we're going to slip this stitch and knit the next eight. Including this one, we have nine. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and now we're going to purl the next two. Bring your yarn in front, wrap your yarn, and purl the next two. Okay, so now I have two, four, six, eight, nine stitches on this needle, so now we're going to turn. Now here, what we're going to do is we're going to slip this first one, and we're going to knit the next eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now slip the next stitch, knit the next stitch, and bring this stitch that we slipped over the stitch that we just knitted. Okay, and now I have two, four, six, eight, nine stitches on this needle, so now we're just going to knit across. We're not going to make any more reductions here. Okay, now we should have 28 stitches. Let's count them. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28 stitches. Now we're going to turn and in this next row we're going to knit every single one of these stitches. So remember we knit the first one, knit the next one, and so on. So just continue knitting each one of these rows with a knit stitch all across. I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished this row and this is what it looks like from the front, okay? Now we're going to turn here like this and what we're going to do for the next 20 rows is we're going to knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two. So beginning here, these two, or the first one we're going to knit the next one we're going to knit. The next two we're going to purl. Like this. The next two, knit. The next two, purl. Knit two, Purl two. Okay, continue like this with the same sequence of knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two, all across. I will meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished this row. My last two stitches here were two purl stitches. So now I'm going to turn. So now here we're going to do the opposite of we, what we just did here at the end. So we're going to knit the first two. Now purl the next two. And knit the next two and so on. Now we're going to do this for a total of 20 rows. It's exactly the same thing that I'm just doing here. Knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two. Okay, so continue like this and I'll meet you once we have 20 rows. Now the way that you can tell how many rows you have is if you start counting the little bumps, 
See, that's one and two, those are your rows. Or if you start counting the V stitches on your knit stitches, see one and two. So continue like this until we have 20 rows and then I'll show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making 20 rows and this is what it looks like. So now what we're going to do is we're going to finish this last row here. Okay, one thing here, the way that I like to bind off this last row is by using a slightly bigger kneading needle. This one here is a 4.5. So with this one here, I'm going to start binding off this last row. So to do that, um, this first stitch here, we're going to knit, knit the next stitch, so now what I'm going to do is this first stitch that we knit, I'm going to pass it over the second stitch. So like this, see, bring the second stitch here. Now knit the next stitch, bring that stitch over that last stitch that we knitted like this and then knit the next stitch and bring this over like this and see this is how we're going to continue all the way to the end okay so continue like this doing the exact same thing you knit a stitch and then pass this one over that one that we just knitted Okay, so continue like this all the way to the end. I'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. This is my last stitch. So here I'm just going to knit this last stitch and pass this second stitch back here through the first one here. And now I'm going to cut my yarn because this part here is done. Now make sure that you leave a pretty long tail because this is what we're going to use to um, join uh, here in the back. So make sure you leave a pretty big tail. Um, it's better to have more than less. So cut a pretty long tail. Now with a crochet hook, I'm just going to pass this yarn through this last loop here. See, like this. And this part here is done. This is what our baby booty looks like. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to close this part here and then the bottom. So to do this first part here, we're going to turn this like this. This is the wrong side. So beginning here, I'm going to show you where I'm going to be um, inserting my, uh, my needle. So if you notice, if you pull this, you see these little stitches along the side right there. That's where I'm going to be inserting my needle. Okay, so let me pass this yarn through this needle so that we can start. Okay, so here. My yarn is on this side, so now I'm going to go to the very top stitch right here and pass my needle through that first stitch and then go back again into this very first stitch right here. And now go back again into that same stitch. And now this part here is closed. And that's what it looks like right there. Okay, so now we're going to go on this side because my yarn is on this side, I'm going to go on this side. So I'm going to find the first stitch along the side on this side. So my first stitch is right there. So insert your needle there and then go to this side and find your first stitch on this side, that little bar that I showed you at the beginning. So your first one might be a little hard. It's right there, right there. So insert your needle there. Now find the next stitch and just insert your hook into the same um, stitch where you came out and it's right there. So go in there and then insert your needle into the same stitch you came out right there. 
and this is what we're going to do back and forth back and forth from left to right left to right or right to left whichever way you started see it's right there now this is all I'm going to do until I come to this part here so continue like this and I'll meet you here to show you how we're going to do this next section okay I'm here at the very edge this is the last stitch here before we start on this uh, first row of garter stitch see right there you can tell um, we have the wavy pattern there so now here we're going to pull this don't pull too tight we're just going to pull a little so that this uh, part here closes like this see now it's closed and that's what it looks like so just pull a little and that's what it looks like right there now we're going to turn this the other way or the other side like this and see now here's the seam you can see um, the seam here on the right side but since we're going to be folding our baby booty like this you won't see it but what you're going to see is here this is where the seam is and see it's a very nice seam you can barely tell where it was closed okay so now we're going to close this part here so remember we turned it over to the right side now okay so now here the important thing here is you need to make sure that these rows are lined up with one another okay so that once we come here to the end we have exactly the same um, number of stitches we're not short on one side or the other so here to begin my yarn is on the left side here after we turned it so we're going to find this first stitch of the very edge right there see it's like a little bump so right there insert your needle and now go to the row that corresponds to this row here see this one here so go into that very um, stitch in the very um, edge now go to the next bumpy row see right there into that very edge and then find the row that corresponds on this side which is this one here and find that other stitch and same thing for the next and then for the next here 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 Okay, and here I'm almost at the end. So I think there's one more up here. So just insert your needle there. And here, this is where we started. So insert your needle there. Now this part here, as you can see, that's what it looks like. Now just leave it like that. Don't pull or anything because if you pull, um, then you're going to create a seam back here and I don't want that so now we're going to close this part here so I'll come back and show you how we're going to do this section okay so now to close this part here what we're going to do is we're going to turn this once again like this okay so here we're going to go into these very stitches on the very edge and then into the other side and then back again into this very edge stitch and then into the other side just like this 
So this part here you can continue on your own until you come to about here. We're going to leave about half an inch, about that much. So continue like this until you come to about here and then I will show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at this other end, so now here what we're going to do is we're going to fold this like this. Now my yarn is on the right side, so I'm going to go through this same stitch that I have here and I'm going to go through the very center right there. See? Now go back in through that same stitch and close this part here one more time so like this now go into the next stitch right here on the side and do the same thing right there now this part here is closed um, you can make one more stitch if you like uh, but I think that's fine right there so now here we're going to go back to this other side so insert your needle through the very center and come out into that stitch right there and then do the same thing one more time like this and now go through one stitch here on the side and then one more time okay, and this part here is done now I'm going to cut my yarn then I'm just going to weave my ends cut it a little bit shorter so like this and now I'm going to also cut this end here and now I'm going to turn it to the right side and there is my baby booty that's what it looks like from here and there's the back and it's all done there you have it see how pretty that is and it was super easy to make so now we can fold this here and then we can either add a ribbon along this part here or along the top. Um, I did my other one here and I added a little ribbon along this part here. And, that's, and our baby booties are done. They're super cute and very easy to make. And that's what it looks like from the bottom. Okay, I also did um, the baby booties here in blue. I also did the same thing and that's what it looks like. They're super cute and super easy to make and here's the other one okay so this has been today's tutorial I hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time